David Sider was on a good wicket, charging $100 an hour for his mental health services, but his patients had no idea he was living a lie. Brady Hall's for a current affair. How are you? Oh, very well, thanks. That's yeah. the way, mate. It started off OK. Are hey, you working at the bus depot? Yeah. But you're also a psychologist, you tell people, as well. No, nah, mate. And With then you, it went to mud. You know... You've pleaded guilty to it, so don't argue the point. Yeah. Um, well, why don't I say this to you? OK. Yeah? You're a f idiot. Not the reaction one would expect from a behavioural specialist. I was seeing him for about a year, paying him $100 an hour for his work and then I found out he was a fake. The shonky shrink, come bus driver, caught out for the second time, passing himself off as a psychologist when he's not. Do you feel that you've let these people down? Um, I don't feel I've let anyone down. But for a year and you let her think that you're a psychologist. That's incorrect. No, it isn't. No, no. You've pleaded guilty in court. You've been charged by APRA. Don't deny uh, it any longer, so... That's incorrect. Did he introduce himself to you as a psychologist? Yeah, he did. You're of the firm belief this is a fully qualified man? Yeah. Brianna Smith is a smiley, bubbly, friendly teenager. Hard to tell that she's also battling some demons following an incident that is very personal. About a year and a half ago, I suffered a trauma and I was having a really hard time dealing with it. She was referred to this man, David Siter. Invited to meet the Royals because of his work in mental health, there's his invite. And a counsellor, the local government kind. What ratepayer wants to see us as counsellors walking around in robes worth thousands of dollars? But it was his counselling of Brianna that eventually came into question. I was in a really dark place, so... He kind of tried to give me strategies on how to cope. Did you seem to be having any improvement? Not really. Like, there was times where I felt like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting better, I'm talking to someone. But um, two times last year, like, my mental health deteriorated and I ended up in hospital. On one of those occasions, David Sider drove Brianna to this hospital. But when the nurses got involved, they smelt a rat. He said, yeah, I'm David, I'm her psychologist. I've been, you know, seeing her for about however long it was. And this is what's been happening. And the nurses were writing down everything that he was saying and they asked him to leave the room. They asked me when he left, they said, who is he to you? And I said, he's my psychologist. Sometime later, Brianna's mother, Sandra, got a call from the regulatory body that oversees health professionals. They told me that David wasn't a psychologist. Did you double take when they said that to you? I didn't know what to say. She sat me down and she said, David's not a real psychologist. And I was like, what? How did that make you feel? Betrayed. Really betrayed. I put my whole trust into someone who knew exactly what he was doing and just took advantage of it. And he knew I was in a vulnerable state because I was so depressed. The family copped a double whammy, dealing with the trauma of the initial incident, then to find out the man she's been pouring her heart out to was a fraud. Gutted, shocked, angry. I hate him. Yep. With a passion, I hate him for what he did. You've sent her emails with so uh, your no, her psychologist. That's, that's incorrect. Oh. This is where we segue into the segment we show the email where yeah, you've said it. Down. Tell them that you prefer to see your private psychologist and not... Text from David Sider to Brianna. Yeah. A psychological report he prepared for the family and a help list if she was having troubles with a suggestion to contact you-know-who. I've worked for 17 years uh, and I, I never had any complaints about me working as an adolescent family counsellor. But to his credit, just 24 hours later, after perhaps counselling himself, he fronted up for a proper why interview to, to explain out? why he called himself a psychologist when he's not. That was probably to give myself a bit more credibility to try and get this young person admitted. But before Brianna, David Sider had uh, called himself a psychologist with another patient and was heavily fined for doing so. The reason I did that was out of frustration. 
And I think sometimes when you say the word counsellor, you're often not taken seriously. I'd like to call myself the Prime Minister sometimes to get things done, but I can't. Look, at the end of the day, I, I think I, I admit I've, I have made two mistakes in a very long career. Just like medicine, we have the capacity to do harm if we're not very careful. Dr Ros Knight is head of the Australian Psychological Society and says psychology is a heavily regulated profession. As a bare minimum to be a psychologist, you have to have done six years of training. So that's a minimum of four years at university, um, usually five or six, and then supervised intensive practice. But practice is something David Sider won't be doing anymore. I agree, I've made, I have made these two mistakes. Um, and from that point of view, I've decided to throw in the towel and retire from my 20-year career. How are you now? Angry. Yeah. Really angry. Hurt. Yeah. And health-wise, are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm getting there. Did you go and engage anybody else? Not at the moment. I'm just trying to deal with, you know, this yeah. at the moment. It's. It's, co like, it's totally thrown my trust. I've paid the price, I've pleaded guilty. Certainly I, I, I would like to apologise for anything that, that I've done by those mistakes that have affected any, any people or any young people especially. David Sider will be sentenced for his latest fake title in early April.